and welcome back, everybody. Ed Welch is our guest, AAA in Utica, and uh, also host of Auto Talk, WIBX, every Saturday, 9 to 10, something he's been doing for 31 years on the radio and what? 34 years with AAA? 34 years, my 34th year. You've got to learn to stick out things, Ed, and not you know, just I, jump I from... You know, I have a trouble giving things up, I guess. <laughs> the, um, uh, there's been a study that AAA has done. Yes. And uh, I, can, I can understand what you're saying about it being a sensitive topic, and that is when should uh, somebody uh, pack it in in terms of their driving? When are you too old to be out on the road? Well, and, and you know, what, what's interesting is we're taught to plan for our retirement. So I think most of us grew up, whether we did a good job or a bad job, but we all kind of had that. We were told a million times, got to plan for your, for your retirement. But no one ever talks about planning for your retirement from driving. And matter of fact, uh, our study, it's just been completed. It's been a five-year-long study. We look at the patterns of people that are older driving so we can figure out how the best to help them. 83% of seniors will use, and I'll use the word never, and I don't like using the word never, but never have spoken about their retirement from driving. And that's a big, big number. And you say to yourself, well, how do we even breach a discussion? How do we approach this sort of thing? Because it's a, such a difficult thing. So I think, I think the, first, the first idea is, is to look at the problem where we have a society. About 10,000 people every day are turning 65. So none of us are getting younger. And uh, so we have to recognize that, that that's going to be a societal issue going forward for quite a while. And that's a big number of human beings. The second thing is we're, we're outliving our ability to drive by 7 to 10 years. You know, years ago, this wasn't a problem because we weren't around that long. Uh, let's face it, uh, even look at Social Security when it was designed in 65. Not a lot of people reached 65 when it was designed that way. Uh, today, 65 is the day you're going to retire. And many people are retiring sooner than that. So uh, you say to yourself, when, when do you actually want to talk about this? Well, I think, I think the first thing is, is to recognize your own situation in life. First of all, our eyesight doesn't get any better as we get older. I mean, you don't improve your vision as you get older. If you're lucky, you keep what you have. Number two, a lot of us have to take medications to make sure we can maintain our lifestyle and maintain a quality of life. So things like medications certainly play a big role in our ability to drive and our eyesight. And of course, our motor skills change a little bit. So it, it starts with a discussion that's, OK, I'm not going to go run the Boilermaker next year. But uh, you know what? I've, I've got to start figuring a few things out. And at AAA, we have a lot of planning tools for people to use. But I think that some, of the, some of the things we should not do, for example, as a family, if someone's having some difficulties, you want to have one person elected to be the, the person to have the conversation. Uh, you don't want five relatives telling dad, you know, maybe you shouldn't be behind the wheel anymore. Number one, it's going to be very awkward for dad. Number two, it's going to feel like everybody's ganging up on him. So I think the number one thing is one person should lead the conversation privately and say, okay, let's have a discussion here what's going on. We have some tools that you can go to online that really you can self-evaluate yourself so that you can get some concepts of where you're at with things. A lot of people, I don't think, realize where they are. Uh, I was just dealing with a friend of mine who's, whose driving abilities is, is not what it was, and we had a conversation about this. And we both agreed that maybe he should not be driving after dark anymore. And after he had his eyes checked, he, he came to a logical agreement that, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that. OK, so can, can you live your lifestyle without driving at night? What, what, what have you done at night driving that, that needs to change? And this is the way you go about this and have some conversations. So what are some of the questions that, that uh, people would uh, have if they went onto the website? Well, we have a program called Key Timing. And you can go to www.aaa.com backslash key timing. And this is a free online seminar. And this seminar is really designed to provide advice and resources to tell people how to go about having this discussion and the kinds of things they should be looking at. You know, some suggestions, again, it's a difficult conversation had, as we said. We also have a website, a national website, seniordriving.aaa.com. If you go to that website, there's a ton of resources there that you can actually look at, again, to give you some concepts of what to do. And we have the Roadwise RX. You can go to the Roadwise RX on AAA.com, and you can put your medications in that you're taking. And literally, it'll tell you what kind of repercussions there could be. 
And what's interesting is many times a drug by itself has no repercussions. But what happens if you take it with something else that you're taking? So I really think as, as adults, and, and who are, you know, there's nobody more responsible than a senior citizen. We have, we've had a long life of being responsible adults and, and, and helping families and doing all the things that we've done to get through life. So I, I really don't think that it's a matter of irresponsibility. I think it's a matter of just understanding and education. And that's one of the things AAA is going to want to help people with over the next few years. So what we're saying is then uh, just because you're uh, 85 doesn't mean uh, you shouldn't be driving. Maybe you shouldn't be driving when you're 70. Well, and, and that's a good point, Joe. Uh, a great example is one of our oldest members who passed away not too long ago, been a member of AAA since 1938. He paid, his, he paid his membership through World War II, if you can believe that. And this gentleman, at 90, drove to Florida. And he was probably in better shape than you and me. I have friends in their late 50s and early 60s that are starting to have some medical issues that's hurting their driving ability. So it's really got nothing to do with your chronological age. What it's got to do is your physical condition and your situation in life. And, and again, your eyesight, your medications, what, what, are your, what you may be suffering from, and start to realize what your limitations might be. Uh, I think it's just a learning how to go through a process of learning. Uh, again, because if 83% of the seniors never speak of this, uh, it tells me that, that we've not done a good job as a society providing information for people. Well, you know, it's a hard thing to talk about. Uh, if you take away somebody's uh, ability to drive, boy, you're taking away a large part of their life. It, absolutely, and I've had conversations with many of our members uh, as they've as they've gotten older, and uh, we've we've talked about some of those things, and I and I think what what you have to do is again, it's it's a graduated thing. We don't just you're not flipping a switch here. Yeah. But uh, I was just having this conversation with my father. He he's 82, and uh, you know he's given serious thought about not getting behind the wheel because he's thank God have had no mishaps, but he doesn't trust certain situations like in traffic, for example. Uh, Last year, uh, over 200,000 seniors were in car accidents nationwide. Over 3,500 of them were killed. Uh, in New York State, the number was 52,000 accidents, with 210 fatalities. And that's an awful lot of people that get hurt and killed. The state uh, doesn't do a lot either in terms of uh, helping with this, do they? Well, well, no, and that's why, again, AAA is here to, yeah. to help educate people. You know, and our online resources are free of charge. Anybody can go there. You don't have to be a member. And I think the idea is to start with a self-evaluation and say, okay, where am I? And, and again, just like you plan for your retirement, yeah. okay. you say, okay, you know what, for the next five or six years, uh, I'm fine with this, but my night, my night vision is starting to deteriorate. Okay, maybe when I, I turn to this age, I'm not going to arrive at night anymore. Or maybe I, I, I have a medication reaction in the afternoon, but I feel really good in the morning, so I'm going to run my errands in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these are the sorts of things that, that, that people need to do. I'm glad you made that point. You don't have to be a member of AAA to go onto this website Absolutely and do all not. this. Okay. When we come back and uh, talk about planning, we ought to uh, look ahead for planning for uh, it's back to school right around the I, corner. Summer is almost behind us. So we've got to talk about that too. Ed Welch is our guest. Short break, right back.